Citrus canker causing concerns in Cameron County. The disease leaves certain fruit trees dead and is airborne. CBS 4's Nestor Mato tells us what's being done to stop the spread and save the crops. Right now, officials are trying to stop that citrus disease from spreading. The concern is it'll hit farms, disturbing the local economy. Plancho Viejo Residential Country Club seeing a growing problem. 11 lime trees infected in a one mile radius, some having to be cut down, suffering from citrus canker. Resident Travis Meyer says he would hate to see his family's beloved citrus tree go. It's been here since before I was here. Uh, the kids really enjoy it. I hope, I hope nothing happens. Texas Citrus Mutual President Dale Merton at Texas A&M AgriLife in Westlaco says the bacterial disease causes lesions on the leaves stems and fruit of plants, including citrus and other plants in the citrus family. Discoloration of fruit, they'll see a, a raised discoloration on the fruit or the leaves. Merton says the tree will look obviously sick. The disease will eventually kill the tree, but because winds and rain can cause trees around it to get contaminated, they cut down the tree they diagnose with citrus canker. It is also so contagious it can be spread by touch. It's not something we want you to go, oh, you know, let's take that in for sampling because I just spread it to you. The disease is harmless to humans but affects fruit sales. Infected fruit look sick and have a bad taste. Mm -hmm. The infected trees have all been in people's private yards and has not moved to farmland. Merton says the good news so far is that grapefruit, 70% of the commercial industry in the valley, has not been affected. He says he is now working with Rancho Viejo homeowners to cut down the last of the infected trees before the winds kick up again. We're really hoping it's contained there think we have a good shot at containing it there. Merton says the homeowners association there is complying and the USDA is working on putting push cards on the door of homes to make sure any infected trees left are identified and cut down before reaching farms. Now hopefully that doesn't happen. You know, I see a lot of a lot of farms in the area and we do whatever we can to keep that from happening. In Rancho Viejo, Nestor Mato, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Trees should be checked every two weeks for symptoms. If you think your tree may be infected, do not touch it. Contact SaveOurCitrus.org to check it out for you.